Today for the Bitcoin price, Bitcoin is right now about to do something it hasn't done since four years. Actually, since exactly four years. Back then, here in October 2016, which took us all the way up to the 20,000 US dollar all-time high. I will be telling you exactly what I am expecting for Bitcoin right now in the immediate short term. My specific price targets and I will be also showing you my trade on Bitcoin right now. Also, we will be having a look at Ethereum because Ethereum was chopping around between this symmetrical triangle and now prematurely broke out. I will be showing you the price target which is all the way up here. And the exact same thing for this specific altcoin here because also this one was bouncing between support and resistance here in a symmetrical triangle. I took a trade here, I will be showing it to you. And of course, I will be showing you my price target which is once again all the way up here for this specific altcoin I will be revealing towards the end of this episode. I will be putting all of that together and I will be showing you exactly how I want to profit from Bitcoin, Ethereum and that specific altcoin in the immediate short term. I can already promise you guys, you cannot afford to be missing out on what I have to tell you today. And of course, we have crazy, crazy news from the banking sector here towards Bitcoin and also mind-blowing, mind-blowing on-chain data here right now. So make sure you take a seat, make sure you scroll down, you smash up the like button for that video to at least 3000 likes, you press the subscription button, press the bell, press on all and with that being said, welcome crypto friends and welcome back to MM Crypto. My name is Chris and as always, we are really pumped to go straight into the content. Okay guys, and as always, we are starting here on the 4-hourly candles for the Bitcoin. Bitcoin price and oh boy on Bitcoin, Ethereum and the altcoin which I'm gonna be showing you towards the end of the video in the charts. Crazy things are happening here but first things first let's start with Bitcoin. So as I already said we are here on the four hourly candles and you can see that Bitcoin after it has been bouncing between support and resistance since ages. I mean we were all fed up. Look at this perfectly timed here in the exact moment this Let's call it a symmetrical triangle. It was coming towards an end. It was a breaking towards the upside. And you all remember from our previous videos, I was saying that I am here bullishly tilted towards the upside. I think that I thought that the likelihood of us to break towards the upside was higher. But looking at the volume here, guys, and I really want to be honest, I do want to see more volume. Of course, Bitcoin had breakouts with follow through without this volume. So, of course, we can still go higher but yeah i i would like would have loved to see here this volume candle this daily volume candle after the breakout actually breaching our downward sloping trend here on the volume candle so this is not the best but this doesn't mean that um yeah that this pump is going to be over very soon however we are facing here serious resistance with this downward sloping trend line on bitcoin zooming out on the daily candles you can see that this downward sloping resistance is actually extremely old already i mean let's go here you already i mean every one of you knows it but this one is old 946 days and i can tell you guys now is the time now maybe we are finally and i'm not talking with now today or tomorrow but now might be the time that we are finally finally breaching this horrible resistance but guys once again it is not over yet so zooming out here and then pulling out the vpvr then you can see the good news is that the Bitcoin price with that breakout went above the VPVR. You can also see that every single time we were here supported by this um, yeah, volume per volume range, whenever we broke down below it, we had a massive crash. And yeah, basically, Bitcoin was never really able to hold it. As you can see right here, small back test and then another test we broke down, retest. Eventually, we broke down to this um, yeah, corona dump. And yeah, here we were just bouncing um, in between this a symmetrical triangle and Bitcoin was searching for a direct. So of course right now Bitcoin could be squeezed and then eventually break out but I do want to tell you if not significant volume is coming in we cannot say that the market is agreeing on that. But the most important thing
thing to look out here. Before I am going to Ethereum and that specific altcoin, you do not want to miss out on Ethereum and the altcoin because this is much more mind-blowing, at least when it comes to potential gains. I will also be showing you my trade on Bitcoin here. Yes, finally, I started trading Bitcoin again. You know I was holding still here for all this time period. Now you understand why it was just extremely boring, this chopping around. But in case we are breaking out this level here, this support, uh, this resistance box here is extremely important. And of course, every blind person can say that we were rejected right here, right here. And of course, throughout this whole period right here. But why is this one so important? Why is 10,500 so important? Well, guys, let me pull out this Fibonacci retracement level and pull it from the 14,000 down to the 3,800 swing low. And look at this. I mean, you cannot make it up perfectly here in alignment with the 61.8 to the 60 um, to the 65 percent Fibonacci retracement level which is called the golden pocket we have this resistance here on Bitcoin so of course only only if Bitcoin closes a weekly candle above this line and then a weekly candle above this line I mean, this is when I'm going full on bull, not bull mode. I am already um, yeah, slightly tilted towards the bullish side, but the 61.8 in this case is extremely important. And you can see it is yeah in alignment perfectly with what we are talking about since weeks, since months already on our channel, which is this yeah resistance box here. We have to break it eventually. And just to show you guys how important it is, if you um, pull this Fibonacci retracement from this swing low to this swing um, high, from the swing high to the swing low, you can see that we were rejected here at 14,000 US dollars. It was predicting this top. And then, of course, it was predicting many, many other tops. Look at this swing high to the swing low, this top here, and the next one from this swing high to, to this swing low, then this top. I mean, the Fibonacci, um, the Fibonacci golden pocket is always showing us where is the next potential resistance coming into place, especially on Bitcoin. It is really respecting that. And it was working perfectly so far. It does not mean that um, yeah it will eventually fail here but there will be some fi um, serious fights coming for Bitcoin. Before we are going into Ethereum and this specific altcoin you do not want to be missing out on let me know in the comment section down below do you think that we can breach this 10,300 10,500 US dollar level within July let me know in the comment section down below that would be very interesting because if we could do that guys remember what I posted recently remember Remember, remember, Bitcoin does not surrender. Scrolling down, you can see in case Bitcoin breaks out, this, what I actually posted here one month ago, would finally come into fruition. Because what you can see is that Bitcoin constantly repeats its pattern here, not only within the converging trend lines, but also within the triangles. Descending triangle, ascending triangle, consolidation phase, embodying wedge, flash crash. And this green zone appears to be what we are in right now. And of course, a break out of this yeah, symmetrical triangle converging trend lines would perfectly, perfectly confirm what we are all waiting for, which is the next parabolic run towards the upside. And before we are going into Ethereum and this specific altcoin, I wanted to share with you yeah, a world premiere here since two months. I have not been trading. You remember I showed you all my trades before, transparently the good ones, the bad ones, and here I am back with my next trade. Bitcoin is breaking out right now. It is only a short-term trade. I will put in a long-term trade once we are going above this but especially above this area but I was putting in this short-term trade here on Bitcoin you can see 211,500 contracts approximately at 9,400 US dollars I will be putting my um, yeah my take profit either I will be doing it actually after this episode either here slightly to that level or slightly below that in case Bitcoin breaks down I am either break even or yeah only at a small loss here for Bitcoin because of course Bitcoin is here right now facing resistance but I want to play this a little bit more towards the upside right now I'm approximately here 10% in profits if you also appreciate these updates here on my trades that I'm showing it to you transparently the good ones the bad ones make sure you scroll down and you smash up the like button this feedback shows me I am doing something right and you are enjoying what we are doing here next up guys look 
at Ethereum. I mean, everyone who is a follower of MM Crypto, you know that we like symmetrical triangles as a bullish continuation pattern and, and that we like ascending triangles, not only on Bitcoin, but also on Ethereum. And look at this, Bitcoin was bouncing between support and resistance ever since, let's look at this, ever since the beginning of June. And we just broke it here yesterday. This is incredibly bullish for Ethereum. Going on to the volume candles, well, I can say once again, I would love to see a little bit of more of volume here coming, but at least it was, yeah, at least it was breaking here this um, downward sloping line. But of course we need more volume. Nevertheless, we can see follow through right now. And I wanted to just bring you my personal um, yeah, target here for Ethereum. If you were to pull that up, it is not the most beautiful one. Usually you want to in this ascending triangles, not to have so much black space. However, this is still valid. And if we are pulling it up here, you can see that this target is all the way up here at 303 US dollars for Ethereum against US dollar. And this is Ethereum against a Bitcoin, of course, a little bit different here, in my opinion, much more important. Still, we cannot see significant volume coming in. It is basically the same, but also on Ethereum against Bitcoin we broke out, which is astonishing, of course, considering that we had crazy Bitcoin gains the last one or two days crazy in relation towards what we have been seeing before but still ethereum was able to break out and also win against bitcoin against bitcoin you can actually see that we are close to the lows here and that the breakout target is even crazier approximately um yeah let me just take this all the way up here approximately approximately 30 to 35 percent potential profits here on that trade let me know if you're trading that down below in the comment section if you also want to trade bitcoin Bitcoin, Ethereum or some certain altcoins. Look at this. We have a pinned comment down below in the comment section on top of the comment section. If you scroll down and press one of these links, you can get after 0.2 or 0.5 Bitcoin deposit, the biggest bonus on YouTube for free. We have accumulated $502 completely for free as a sign up bonus. And you know, I know I have not been trading, but now I am starting to trade again. I'm always transparent with you guys. I am not yeah, telling you I am trading. You should trade right now. When it is actually not the time for it i was standing on the sidelines i was transparent with that but now i am starting to trade again of course you have to make your own decision but if you want you can support us here with this pin comment and you get some nice bonuses on the sidelines and next up this coin is digibyte you all know that we are not a huge fan of digibyte and Oh boy, man, this is already much higher than when I started recording. But I took a trade here. Look at this. This is my Binance back and I was buying a Digibyte actually here already before the breakout because I saw something dangerously crazy unfolding here for the Digibyte price. And of course, I will be telling you whether it's too late or not. Of course, guys, I'm not talking about this when it is too late. But I saw this volume declining heavily here on, um, yeah, on, on, on Digibyte why we were going into the symmetrical triangle and you know what guys this reminded me on the chain link um, setup we actually showed you here a few weeks ago look at this this was on chain link we were bouncing between support and resistance here within the symmetrical triangle the volume was declining and we were calling for this breakout i was trading this breakout and many of you guys has have also been trading it because you leave your feedback always in the comments thank you so much for always doing that if you want to do it this time as well please do so it is always really cheering me up to see the community gaining as well and then we were trading it all the way up to here. And I mean, guys, remember, we got so much hate of uh, for taking profits here. I was telling you, well, guys, chaining it is in, a, is in a parabolic curve. And once we are breaking it, we are going for a huge um, yeah, correction. And look at what happened here. Chaining was going for this correction. But I just wanted to put that out here. Sometimes you are getting hate for something when you are saying, um, yeah, when you are when you are acting against the crowd. We are doing that on our channel. I'm not afraid of doing that. And I hope you appreciate that guys so back to digibyte well i was trading it here way before because i saw the same thing unfolding and i told myself why should i trade the breakout when i can actually trade this here and put a nice stop loss below the upward sloping support well i did that and we got this breakout even a little bit sooner than expected and why do i think it is not too late to jump into this trade of course guys i wanted to tell you one thing let me go to the four hourly candles look at this we had the breakout perfectly confirmed 
pump the breakout and it is off to the races. Well, I do not want to tell you, buy into this pump here. You can wait for a retracement, make your own analysis when it comes to that. But me going back here on the daily canvas and then pulling out this measured move, you can actually see that we are far, far from the target yet. And of course, I could be wrong on this one. I was right on many other altcoins. I could be wrong on this one. I am a human being and this price could just revert um, very, very fast. But look at this. Our target is all the way up here at 400 Satoshis, which is from here an 80% gain. I will be holding this um, yeah, all the way up. I will be putting my stop loss, of course, right here. I put my money where my mouth is. I am cautious here. And if I am going to um, yeah, get a loss here, my loss will be very, very low. I know that already because of my stop loss. And if it's going to be higher here, just as predicted for training and many other altcoins, my gains will be very, very high. Let me know what you are doing in the comment section down below. And as you can see, guys, I was promising you juicy content and it was extremely juicy. I have been waiting for that for a very long run, but I also want to go into the news because we have been sharing that yesterday. First, they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you and then you win. I could rephrase that and then they try to partner with you because what happened yesterday? Look at this. Actually, this I stole from someone here. This guy said, then they partner with you. <laughs> Leave always your, your, your comments down below in the, um, on our tweets. I love to share some of them sometimes with the audience. But this article here yesterday said from Decrypt.co, US banks can hold your um, crypto for you, says federal regulator. Going into this article from Forbes, this one said, Bitcoin meets banking as US bank regulators permits cryptocurrency custody. And this is of course huge news. Remember Jamie Dimon, the CEO of um, JP Morgan Chase, saying that Bitcoin is a fraud. I mean, now all banks are free to implement Bitcoin. Do I want the banks to hold my Bitcoin? Well, I will not give them my Bitcoin. You will not give them your Bitcoin. But maybe a grandmother, maybe an aunt, or maybe someone who just doesn't like tech, they have the opportunity right now for the banks holding their Bitcoin. I would not recommend them doing that, but this, of course, opens the Bitcoin as an investment case to a whole new audience, to a whole new group of people. I want to consider that bullish. I want to consider that good. In the long run, of course, we have to decentralize our holdings. Um, but yeah, this very easy entrance here for these people who don't like tech, who are not so much into it, this is, of course, a very good thing. And as the last point of today, you can see here Bitcoin price rises to 9,500 as 2 trillion Federal Reserve stimulus expected. Well, guys, this is huge news. Just look at the assets overview here of the Federal Reserve. You can see in 2008, the balance sheet of the Federal Reserve through money printing just went throughout uh, through a huge roof and ever since then this was just a huge massive uptrend with a few breaks and look at this here what we had in the last few months basically after this corona dump this was going up and right now it is yeah approximately at 6.9 trillion us dollars additionally yeah two more trillion that would bring us to 9 trillion us dollars and as you can see the stocks are pumping and also bitcoin got a nice little pump here from that it is not the correlation i want to see but of course, if Bitcoin is denominated in US dollars and if the US dollar denomination is what we are looking out for right now in the long run, I am not looking out for that. But then, of course, yeah, inflating US dollars is good for the Bitcoin price measured in US dollars. This is what I wanted to show you. And also here on the on-chain metrics, you can see that the ways keep accumulating here, soon reaching a new local high here. The number of ways holding Bitcoin is going higher. It was going higher ever since this Corona dump. And another on-chain metric I wanted to show you is the Bitcoin price in black against the Tether USD current supply. As you can see, ever since we had this huge Corona dump, the supply of US dollar tether was going higher and higher. And if you zoom in here, just right now, there are more um, US dollar tether getting printed. I will be keeping you updated for that. But of course, an inflation in the supply of US dollar tether is also beneficial for Bitcoin, especially when the price is going sideways. But uh, yeah, as I already said, it might not be going sideways for very, very long. Let me know what you think about that, guys. And also scroll down, smash up the like button if you appreciate that free content. And I will be back with you very, very soon at the next one of MM Crypto. And as always, guys, as always, click the subscription box right here and click the Bible tutorial, which is popping up right there. And as always, guys, as always, bye-bye.